Hey Kipster, so today we are going to be thinking about the overall text structure of a text. So when we do that, we have four steps. Our first step is we look for signal words. We look for signal words in the text to see what can help us find a text structure. Our second step is we look for text elements, meaning we look at the pictures. We look at the pictures. Step three is we ask and decide the question, what is the question the text is answering? Is it a compare and contrast? Is it a chronological order? Is it telling me a cause and then an effect? Is it telling me, giving me a problem and then offering me a solution? And then step four, we put all of those clues together, we put them all together, and we create the text structure. We figure out what is holding this whole piece of article together. So let's start. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for signal words. So I'm going to be using the introduction right now. So let's read it. So the first thing we do is we look for the signal words. And so when I'm looking in the text, I see that it says they were both named George. Hmm. But then it says that George Washington was the man who freed American colonies. And then it tells me how George was the British king who lost them. And then it says there are two sides to every story, which makes me think I already kind of have an idea of what our text structure is, but I'm gonna look again. Now my second step is to look at the text elements. And my text elements are a picture, so I see a picture of George, and they're telling me when he was born, when he died, and what he was in charge of. And then I see another picture of King George, and this is telling me what he was alive and died, and telling me what he was in charge of. Hmm, I'm getting an idea of what this text structure might be. So now I gotta go to step three, and I need to decide what questions does this text answer? Well, let's, let's think about it. Let's see. Is this offering me a problem? Is it telling me that there's a problem between them? Mm, there might be a problem. It says that they were enemies, but I don't see a solution yet. Hmm. Is it telling me something in chronological order? Is it giving me dates and telling me how something happened in time? Well, it does tell me the days they were alive when they were born, but that doesn't tell me what the whole text is about. Hmm. Is it a compare and contrast? Are they comparing one thing to another? Well, it says they were both named George. They both had two jobs. This is two people that might look the same. So, step four, I'm gonna put those clues together and I think that the overall text structure is compare and contrast because the introduction talks about how both Georges are similar and different. 